Hello everybody and welcome to the geographical plotting within Python tutorial or basically how to plot data onto a map using uh, latitude and longitude. To do this we're going to be using a module called base map which works alongside matplotlib so a lot of your matplotlib skills will be directly transferable here. I'm going to assume that anybody watching this already has matplotlib and PIL. If you don't you should definitely get matplotlib and probably uh, go back a little bit and watch some of the matplotlib tutorials since they're going to cover some stuff that I'm going to kind of glaze over here because I assume you guys already know. So what I plan to cover in this video and the subsequent few videos is the basics of displaying a geographical plane, how to customize it, and how to begin plotting on it. Uh, pretty much all we're going to do is, is simply plot some dots. Maybe in the future if I get around to it we can do some stuff like heat maps. Uh, but you need special files to do that and then once you have the special file it's, it's really not too difficult so it's actually harder to plot your own data so anyway let's go ahead and get started and let's get what we need in that space map so what you want to do is head over to your favorite internet browser and you're going to want to go to matplotlib.org slash base map and once you're there click on the download button and then it'll be like go here so you'll click here and uh, you'll end up on SourceForge and you'll want to pick the latest version of base map and then you can pick whatever you've got here there's the 64-bit, 32-bit and there's also just like the source down here so pick whichever one you uh, are using if you've got a 64-bit Python you need to download 64-bit if you've got 32-bit Python uh, you need to download 32-bit and once you've got that all installed uh, we can begin to work with base maps. So what you should always do once you think you've installed it, you should bring over an interpreter real quick and do import, uh, or I'm sorry, from mpl underscore toolkits dot base map import capital B A S E M A P. And as long as you don't throw any errors, you've done it right. So as long as you haven't, let's continue with the tutorial. So, as you can probably guess, that's what we're going to import here as well. So we're going to say from MPL underscore toolkits dot base map import import base map. Now what we need to do is import matplotlib pyplot as plt. You guys should be pretty familiar with this. matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Not period. Now what we want to do is we want to set up our base map logic. So what you can kind of think of this as is when you were building a figure in matplotlib and you were setting up maybe a subplot, that's kind of what we're doing here is setting up our subplot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say M for really, really short equals capital B, A-S-M-A-P, and the projection is going to be equal. We're going to use mil. Now what MIL is standing for is a Miller Cylindrical Projection. If you don't care, sorry, it's time to learn some stuff. Basically, the displaying of a map is, there's, I, let's see, there's about, I don't know, 20 or 30 different projections that you can use within base map. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Let me drag it over. These, this is the list here. And then uh, I'll pull it up so you can see the whole thing. Um, so from there all the way down here. And so um, basically I can open up a few of them so you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about when I say that each one has its own kind of stuff, right? So here is our Miller. This is what our map will look like, right? So it's squarish. But as you can see, uh, it gets kind of distorted, especially up here. This is kind of a distorted area. We come over. This is an azimuthal equidistant projection so uh, there's that you've got this I don't even know how to say this mnemonic <laughs> full disk anyway you get the idea so depending on like what exactly you want your um, your chart to look like basically you can choose between all of these but for the purposes of this tutorial just to keep it as basic as possible we're going to use this Miller one which I believe is this one so um, anyway, just kind of be aware of the fact that there's just a ton of other projections, but each one has um, 
different stuff like it depends on like if you're if you're making a flight map let's say you kind of want your distance between the two uh, between point a and point b to be at least visually quite you know pretty close and then but at the same time if you're just interested in the countries then you want the countries to be fairly proportionate to their actual size and you don't care so much about the oceans maybe it just depends so there's just there's like a you know a projection for every size so that's that uh, the next thing that we want to do is specify the corners that we want um, our projection so this is you know the full earth right but if we just wanted maybe the United States we would specify you know the coordinates here 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 and here like a box but for now we're going to just do the, a full a full size here just to keep things as simple as possible so the way this is is l l c r n r l a t so this is lower left so l l lower left c r n cor or c o c r n r corner latitude equals uh, -90 then upper right corner lat equals 90 backslash enter then ll corner lawn equals negative uh, 180 and then upper right corner lawn equals 180 so we've got a full map here next thing we need is resolution equals c and that's um, we'll talk about that probably in the next next video because I don't want to spend too much time explaining everything here. Um, but basically, that's how you know the level of uh, granularity basically you're going to have. But we'll get to that, like I said. So then, um, next thing you want to do is do m draw coastlines empty parameters. That's just obviously going to draw lines off the coast. And then we want to fill the continents, so m dot fill continents, continents. It's so basically your originally just because you did this, you would just have like a blank plot. Then you got to draw some coastlines. Now you're going to fill in the continents, and then m dot draw map boundary, and then we'll add a title. Same way you've always added titles. Uh, so quick base map example. And then plt.show. And if we haven't thrown any errors or made any errors, um, this should work. Sure enough, here is our basic projection. Just a quick example of how we can uh, put something up real quick. So anyway, um, that's your first chart. Definitely just wanted to put out a, a chart, get you guys going in the first video. But uh, the next stuff we're going to continue on in the next video. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then you should continue on. As always, thanks for watching.